a very good morning to one of all present here today i am here to discuss the topic of python programming language so we are going to discuss the python programming firstly we will go go to the basic part now first part the first part is who is the developer of python language the developer of python language is guido van rossum and he developed the python language first time it came in market in 20th feb 1991 now what are the features of python the basic features of python are general purpose programming language support multiple programming paradigm white space indentation object oriented programming language highly extensible so it is a general language we can perform many functions it support multiple programming support it also provides the functionality of white spacing it is object oriented language and it is highly extensible it means a user can extend as per the requirement now next part what are the reserved words in a python language reserved words are those words that cannot be used as a variable like and continue if white while df def for elif else in these all are the words that are already present in the language that cannot be used as a variable now next is input statement in python how to enter data in a python language how to input the data in a python programming language for giving input we have a predefined function that is input function but if we want to give input for a purpose of numeric value then we can write like a equal to integer input then give the message in a single quote or double quote so it is for numeric value and for string value we will directly put up the function input and enter the value this is for string value next is output function in python printf function is used to print the output on screen and one or more then output can be separated by a comma now next one next is scp syntax what is scp scp means separation of data it is a separator between two values and scp can be used like this for example print x y scp equal to and single quote is for spacing Now what will be the output of that one? Firstly, it will print x. Afterward, it will give the space that is given in separation, and afterward, it will print y. That is separation to do separate separate or partition the values. Next is range function. Range function is used to calculate the value in a boundary limit. It will tell the starting value. It will tell the end value. As per the example, the range function will start with value one, and it will calculate till less than 11 so it will pick the value from 1 to 10 next one next is white space indentation it is used to separate or give space between data suppose we want to print the statement mod for one score so what we can do we can make it by two methods first method firstly we will directly write print mod for then separate word is world third word is score and afterward we are giving separation operator and in separation we are giving some space and second method is we can directly print in print statement mod for world school these are two method for giving the white space is next one is conditional what is conditional operation conditional operations or conditional statements are those statements that are used to define the condition for example we want to give one condition we have only if statement for two condition we are having if else statement and for third one we are having if else if else statement that then we are having more than two statements now syntax of each condition is given below first syntax for if statement firstly we will write if then we will give the condition part after we will print the statement like as an example if a greater than 10 afterward column is compulsory without column next statement will not be processed it will not be the part of if and in print we have given accepted value second for else if or if else firstly if condition it if it satisfy then print statement otherwise it will go to the else part it means it is for true and false if is for true else is for false part as per example if a will be greater than 10 the value will be printed accepted otherwise it will print the value rejected third is if else if else when we are having multiple condition suppose we want to print the value as per multiple condition so first condition will be in the if statement last will be in else and in between multiple statement will be in elif part elif presents else if the example is given here like if a greater than b 
and a greater than c so it will print the value a is largest number elif b greater than a b greater than c it will print b is largest number else by default it will print the third value c is the largest number now next part next part is related to the arithmetical operations arithmetical operations like if a is equal to 20 and b is equal to 3 then what will be the result of this operation we will do the same operation by using programming after some time before that i am telling you syntax for printing for addition of two numbers we will write print a plus b like a 20 b 3 is there so result will be 23 for subtraction result will be a minus b that is 17 third is multiplication the result will be 20 multiplied by 3 60 the next is division so result will be 20 divided by 3 6.67 next is exponential exponential is also called a power operator so it will calculate 20 raised to power 3 result will be 8000 and next one is modulus modulus will calculate the remainder if we will divide 20 by 3 so remainder will be 2 so result will be 2 now next part is some programs are given there first program is write a program to find the sum of 10 natural numbers how will calculate the sum firstly we will open idle tool then we will click on file option afterward we will select new window option now we will start writing the program and what is the program by default we are taking one variable that is sum and by default sum is 0 next we are taking 4 4 is a loop and this loop will process in a particular range and the value of range is it will start from 1 and it will use less than 11 and i is a variable every time value of i will be increased by 1 so sum equal to sum plus i and afterward when, when we print the result as per the program firstly you will save it for saving the program we need to press ctrl plus f5 key after pressing ctrl plus f5 key now type your file name for saving at after saving the program it will show the result and the result is 55 it will calculate the result from 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 up to 10 next program next program is related to calculate the simple interest to calculate the simple interest firstly we will write prt prt p stand for principal r stand for rate and t stand for time afterward we will put up the formula p star r star t divide by 100 and at last we will print the value si and afterward we will save the program by using the same key control plus f5 and in execution if we are giving the amount 20,000 rate of interest 10 and time 5 so the result will be 10,000 now move to next program that is program to find the largest number out of three numbers firstly we need to give the input about three numbers so here we have taken a b c three numbers we have given the input by using the function input and the value type is integer next statement is we have given the condition when a will be largest if a will be greater than b and a will be greater than c so if is the statement if it is satisfied then it will print the result a is largest number and the value of a is whatsoever you are typing otherwise it will go to the second statement that is elif elif will check the value for b when b will be largest if b is greater than a and b is greater than c then the result will be print b is largest number and the value is whatsoever you are giving otherwise if a is not largest in second case b is not largest so by default c will be largest so result will be c is the largest number and the value is whatsoever we are using for c as per the given example output is also given suppose we have taken the value a 548 c and b 625 and c 145 so result will be b is the largest number and the value is 625 next is write a program to calculate the table of any number using for and while loop by using both loop we can print the table of any number for printing the table firstly we need the number so we are giving the number in c c equal to int input enter the number it will accept the input in numeric value afterward we have given for loop and for loop will process 10 times from 1 to 10 and it will print the statement again and again c star i firstly suppose we are taking the number 14 so it will print the result 14 1 ja, 14 2 ja, 14 3 ja, up to 14 10 ja, and the result will be 14 to 140 using for loop we have done this one now next loop is using while loop while loop is same as for loop the difference is only one in while loop we will give the starting condition in first line and we will give the conditional part in while 
Suppose i is the initial state, starting value. Afterward, we are given the number. In while, we have given the condition. Till i is less than equal to 10, it will continue with the same statement. It will print again and again c star i. And every time, it will increase in the value of i. That is i equal to i plus 1. And the same output will be printed by for loop and while loop. Now move to next program. The next program is write a program to print a Fibonacci series. What is Fibonacci series? Fibonacci series is basically two numbers are starting numbers that is 1 and 1. Now third number will be the addition of 2, 1 plus 1. Fourth number will be the addition of second and third. Fifth number will be the addition of third and fourth. It means previous two number will be added and result will be calculated. So it can be done by using this programming. Firstly we are giving two numbers A and B and by default initial two number value is 1 and 1. Afterward, we have taken one variable i equal to 2. Afterward, because numbers are fixed, firstly we have printed the value of a and b. Now for printing the third number to 10 number, what we have done, we have written the condition while a less than 10, it will continue with the, these five statements. Now first statement is next equal to a plus b. So first time result will be 1 plus 1, 2 will be stored in next and in a result will be stored 1, in b result will be stored 2. Next time it will print the same output. So next statement will be 3. Again it will calculate 2 plus 3, 5. Again it will calculate 3 plus 5, 8. Again it will calculate 5 plus 8, 13. So it will continue till 10 values has not been printed or condition is satisfied in while loop while i is less than 10. Now move to the next program. Next program is basic program. Write a program to find the or to perform the arithmetical operations. Basically, in arithmetical operation, we can use addition, subtraction, multiply, division, exponential, that can also be called a power operation or remainder. For doing this, we need two numbers because operation can be performed between two numbers. So, A is first value, B is second value. Now, we started to print the sum of A and B each. So, result will be A plus B. As per the given example, value of A is 20, value of B is 3. So the first statement result will be the sum of a and b is 23. The subtraction of a and b is 17. The subtraction uh, next is the multiplication of a and b is a star b 20 multiplied by 3 that is 60. The division of a and b is 20 divided by 3 result will be 6.67. And the exponential of a and b is a raised to power b 20 raised to power 3 that is 8000. And the remainder that is called modulus or remaining of a and b is 20 divided by 3 that is 2. Next program is to calculate the total marks, grade and percentage. Firstly, we will we are giving the name of student. Afterward, we are giving the subject mark, subject 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now, we are calculating total equal to subject 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Afterward, we are calculating the total marks. After calculating total marks, we are printing the total marks. Next statement is for calculating the percentage. Afterward, calculating the percentage, we are printing the value of percentage. Now we are giving condition as per statements. If percentage less than 40, it will print fail. If it is greater than 40 and less than 60, it will print average. If it is greater than 60 and less than 70, it will print good. If it is greater than 70, less than 80, it is very good. And last case is by default, if it is not there, then merit case. So as per the given output, we have given the name Sandeep Kag. And in uh, first subject, we have put up the marks, marks 68. Second subject we have given the marks 85, third we have given 96, fourth we have given 67. Total marks are 316 and percentage is 79 and the grade is very good. So this is all about Python programming language. Thank you. Thanks a lot. We will meet in next video with other some concepts. Thank you. Have a nice day.